coalition of Jewish groups across many European countries who oppose Israel's continued occupation of Palestinian land, who oppose the repression of the Palestinian people and who seek a future based on peace, justice and equality. In Britain, there are three groups affiliated, Just Peace UK, Jews for Justice for Palestinians and the Jewish Socialist Group of which I'm a member and they are all here today among you. I am here to tell you that the Jewish people and Israeli civilians are not at war with the Palestinians and the Lebanese people. The Jews in the diaspora and in Israel are protesting against the actions of the Israeli military. This evening in Tel Aviv, the peace bloc Kush Shalom are rallying around the slogan Cease fire now, end the killing in Gaza, Lebanon and Israel. Yeah! More and more soldiers are refusing to serve in Lebanon and the occupied territory. And this week in the heart of America, 500 Jews in San Francisco protested outside the Israeli consulate and 18 were arrested. When Israel bombarded Gaza recently, 300 Jews in Britain took a full page advert in the Times to condemn the collective punishment of the people in Gaza. I signed that advert, but it wasn't the first advert I signed. I signed one in 1982. I was one of 120 Jews who put their names to an advert then under the heading Peace in Lebanon and Israel. We've been here before. We know the cost in human life that was endured when Israel's first Lebanon war happened, when Sharon took Israel along this insane track of believing there was a military solution. There are many Jews who despair at the actions of the Israeli government but do not speak out. They're intimidated that they are by accusations that they are self-haters, that they are helping the anti-Semites, that they support Hamas or Hezbollah. European Jews for just peace are not intimidated. We are not self-haters. It is precisely because we are so aware of our Jewish history that we hate oppression, we hate injustice, we hate the collective punishment of the people, and we will say so. We do not we do not help the anti-Semites. We want a world that is as secure for the Jewish people as any others. There are people who use um, attacks on Israel as a cover for anti-Semitism. We must oppose them. Anti-Semitism is no friend of the Jews and no friend of the Palestinians. You do not have to share the ideology of Hamas or Hezbollah to believe that the bombardment of civilians is wrong. Detention without trial of thousands of Palestinians is wrong. Discrimination between Jews and non-Jews in Israel is wrong. And we say the Israeli government must negotiate with the democratically elected representatives of the Palestinian people, Hamas. Israel's actions, Israel's actions are both murderous and suicidal. The parents of the kidnapped soldiers are calling on their government to negotiate, to exchange prisoners. Bravo! But the Israeli government won't listen to them because it's listening to Bush and Blair. But we have to say that here today, Jews and Palestinians, Israelis and Arabs and humanitarians everywhere are speaking out together against this.